First thing I want to do is set the width of these two things apart. So I'm over here. I'm going to use these bolts here. I'm going to use one of them and one of the bigger ones, and that'll just make the frame for it. I've got a little stand for this, but it's pretty hard to set it up. Anyway, I've just got to take this down to 19 mil and then tap it. It's nine mil deep. Going to sit in that frame thing I've got there. And I'll just check the depth. Alright, oh, that's that's a nice tight fit. Alright, now I've got to drill that out. I've got to cut an M16 by a 2 thread. And then lengthen it and flip it and do the other side. Well, I've drilled that to depth. It's 40, uh, 45 mil. That's a 10 mil bit. Now I've got a 14.5. I've got a cut of 16 mil tap, so you don't want to get much bigger than 14.5. I'll turn that off. Right, that's at the depth I want, 45 mil. Pull that out. And that's it. Once you once you get it going in a quite a, say two or three turns, it's going to go in straight. So I can that, that'll just go straight in there. So I can just get that out of the way now. And just keep turning it. All right, I'm just going to do this off because I can't do it. I've got to have two hands. And taps all the way home. I'll just back it out now and do the same. Cut it to length, do the same the other side, and then that's the first part of the frame done. That's how I'm cutting that off. I've got it hooked up beyond the life, so it keeps it more stable. Just sort of turn that in, that's the cutoff tool. Just take it down as far as I can, then finish it off with a hacksaw. First part made for this thing, it's threaded, both ends. That's going to go in here. I'll so slap that on and we'll see what it looks That's like. First part of our bike starter. That's how wide it's going to be. It's going to be quite wide. So some bikes, the tyres are wide as that. Even some are wider. And the bikes I ride, the tyres are up to 200 wide. I think that Norton's 150. So, yeah. That's plenty. Anyway, I've got to make another part similar to that, but I'm going to make it out of this thinner stuff. And I'll go up here. Right, and I might put another one down the bottom, so there'll be three. And that'll be the frame for it. Then I'll put those things I bought, four of them. They'll, I think two are going to go here, and two are going to go back here. I'll even have space here if later I want to fit a starter motor to it. And run chains off it. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that, so we'll see. Yeah, well, I've decided to make two smaller braces for that frame. The other frame's out of that wider stuff. I forget what size it was. 32 mil, something like that. This stuff's about 22 mil. So, yeah. Plus that other stuff's 70, 75. It's a lot harder and dearer. So, I'm just going to make it out of this stuff. It's ready to be tapped. You ever wonder why these taps have a little hole in the back of them? So you can put a live centre in it. And that, like I said, keeps it dead straight going into the hole. You know, I'll need two hands to do this. There's the tap all the way home there. Just wind it out with this small thing. I've already sort of, went, once I get about more than halfway in, I back it out and clean all the shit out of the hole and redo it and go further in. Now well, there's the second part. And I'll put that down the bottom there. Well, there's the frame done. I'm happy with that. Solid. I'm going to put two rollers, one here, cut that in half, and one there. Now that one of them in there, one on each side. This one is a bit like that, so I'm going to cut that and weld that to that. So that gives it a bit more hold on to. Okay, that's the plan, we'll see how it works. Well, next thing I'm going to do is cut this bit of bar up, it's 51mm. 
60, 61 aluminium. Cut it down, cut it in half, it'll be what is it? About 177 mil each piece. I got this painting tool set up, I'll cut it down as far as I feel comfortable, then I'll do the rest with the hacksaw. Here was loose. Right, I won't film the whole thing. Cut it with a hacksaw now. Got it down there, move this out of the way. Just, just break that now. Oh, there's my two pieces. So one of these rollers is going to sit here somewhere, and the other one's going to sit here somewhere. I just got to figure out where's the best spacing for it next. Right, put that there. Let's do this one first. And face that. I'm going to drill it, tap it, and put some steel in it. Flip it around, do the same with that side, and then I'm going to knurl it, shape it a bit. I'm going to try and concave it a bit and then knurl it. That's the plan, anyway. Got it on auto feed. I'm going to stand and watch it do that. A little rest. Once that's all done, I'll flip it and do the same the other side. And then I'll start boring the holes in here. I'm going to tap it and stick some steel in there, thread it, and I'll thread it into that. And that's going to go into those bearings. I've bought a 10 mil hole there. It's gone in 50 mil. This is a 16 mil bit. I'm pour this out of 50 mil and tap it with an 18 mil by 125 tap. Now I'm going to put some steel in there and have it sticking out 35 mil, and that's going to go into the bearing. is an 18 mil tap so it's a little bit big but being aluminium I should be able to force it in. Anyway I really need two hands to do this so I'll see how it goes. Okay of course this is aluminium you can do that you, you can't tap a I'm sure you wouldn't be able to do this if it was steel put an 18 mil tap and a 16 mil hole. Bit hard. Anyway, let's see how you do it. See how I do it, I should say. I won't film the whole thing. The taps all the way home. This is another end done. I've got two to go. What I'm thinking of actually doing, instead of making these axles or whatever you want to call them, you know, the thing sticking out like that, it's going to go into this. Size, yeah, sort of like that, and that'll, I'll cut that off at 35 mil, and that's going to be my. You know, I'm going to have two of them, but the one that sticks out on the other end, I'm going to weld the. I'm going to weld one of these to it, like that, so then I can use the impact gun as a starter motor. Hopefully, right, there's those all threaded, ready to go. And like I, oh, yep, I am going. To, Go and price a couple. I'm going to buy four high tensile bolts, M18 by 1.5, probably 100 mil long. And I can screw them into there, pull up tight, mount all this stuff, weld these on one on each. It'll probably be on this side. The thing with the impact gun, you can go backwards or forwards. With the starter mode, you can't do that. So yeah, it's getting there. I'll just go and hunt down some bolts, but that's enough for today. I'll go get I'll get the bolts tomorrow or Monday, whatever. Didn't do any well uh, filming today because the stupid welder I've got there. But I've I've mounted these rear ones. But I, what I want to do is weld weld this little bit of plate here. 
so I can drill those top holes and mount that. But uh, that stupid welder I bought, that new TIG, I got it back. That's, now no gas comes out of it. I'm getting so annoyed with it. You know, I've got to take it back. I'll be without it now for another couple of weeks. You know, they give you 12 months warranty, but they got it for six months. Not a bad deal for them. Realistic, I'd like to take it back, but whatever. I'm just going to drill a little hole in the end so I can put the live center in the back of this. Don't hold it steady while I cut it to size. Trying to not to make these videos so boring, so I won't film this for too long. Hard to see that, the knurling, it's, it's getting knurled. I was going to concave it, but a bit above my pay grade that. I'm just going to knurl it. That'll give it the grip that I want. Probably go up and back a couple of times. So I'll put a bit of oil there, that's why it's a bit dirty. What I'm going to do is we'll stop it and then go back in reverse. It's sort of like threading it, but yeah, you just go back in reverse and we'll give it a nice, a nicer job. First roller done, took longer than I thought. You know, the next one should be a bit quicker. I got those there, those these things there, I turned them down. I've sort of cut that like that so it makes it easy to weld it on. Sort of helps it. Then we'll get all welded on. That goes in there like that. That'll get welded on there. I'm not sure if this idea is gonna work. If not, I'll have to weld a sprocket on here and run a starter out here, starter motor, with a little chain and then a chain back to the others, the other one of these. That goes in there like that. You know, it's coming along. I've had enough. Yeah, that's the first one. Doesn't work, doesn't work. I'm not sure, we're going to have to be careful with these drills because I know if you put a, put a drill or an impactor on an engine, you you got to watch out, you'll bust your wrist. But this being on a bike clutch starting, and I think it should be okay, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm no, just turning this last nut down, well it's not the last one, it's one for this end, and then I'm going to make this end so that fits into it, slides over when I weld it. Yeah, that's how I want that, and I'll just slip that there and I'll weld it on, done. There's that bolt turned down, just going to chop it off at 35mm, and that's done, then I'm just going to give that a light clean along there, skim, take a lot of skim, then knurl that, and pretty much all the machining's done, and we've just got to get that MIG back, and, not MIG, TIG, I don't want to talk about that thing, anyway, and then that, that's complete, just take a skim off this, and then I'll knurl it, I'm doing all that, I'll just tend it. Turn it off. You can hit the chuck. Down with that. Right, is that? Is that done? Not too bad. Get out of the seat right up. You know, that's the last part. Need machining. You do weld these little things on the end there. And just got to get that stupid welder back and weld the rest of the frame up. Give us an overall what it sort of turned out like. Put those things there, they've been welded on. Like I said, there's two. One may do it. I'm pretty sure two will. Threw one of those things on the side so you can pick it up and carry it like that. It's pretty light. Just throw it on the ground, back the bike into it. Someone sits on the bike and you get someone to grab the impact gun. If you need to, you need to. But you just get the wheel spinning, put in second or third gear, drop the clutch, and it should fire. As long as there's something, nothing wrong with it. I'll give it a test on the, on the MV. But I just want to finish off doing the frame. 
Just weld these bits here. Oh, this is basically how it's going to work. Put the jack link, put this thing in there. That does not look powerful enough. I've got two of them. If that doesn't work, I'm going to mount a starter motor in there. And I'll hang it out here with the chain. I'll run another chain back to there. I don't think there's plenty of room in there for a starter motor. I don't think it'll need it, but these things have got a lot of power. And I've got two of them. So we'll see. Anyway, just got to weld these little pieces up here. I'm going to get that welder back, make it look neat, drill two holes, and it's pretty much done. Anyway, thank you.